Welcome them for, to come coming to our dedication celebration of Corey Clausen and Carmen Cameron home. My name is Beth Dahman and I am the board president for Coal River for Habitat for Humanity. And I just want to tell you a little bit about what we are and what we do, in case some of you don't know. We are a, a Christian-based nonprofit organization that partners with people and what we try to do is bring families and communities together to build simple decent, affordable housing. And um, we do not see this as a handout, as Carmen and, and Corey can attest to. They have to have a down payment. They have to have 400 hours of sweat equity, is what we call it. And they also will be paying a monthly interest-free uh, mortgage. So it's not a handout, but we consider it a hand up. This could not be done without volunteers. We've had about 100 volunteers work on this home. And they put in about 1,900 hours, I think it is. Um, and also, Corey and, and Carmen have um, significantly put in more than 400 hours of their sweat equity, um, either working in the office or building here on the home. So our volunteers not only um, help build on the home, but volunteers also serve on. We have lots of different committees. We have committees that um, select the families. We have committees that mentor the families. We have committees that uh, work with churches on public relations um, and uh, develop fundraisers. Am I missing any committees? Mm. Bill, and, and help with the bill. So yeah, and so we so we have lots of, of volunteers that serve on all those committees. We also are part of a. We have 12 members on our board. Um, that helps kind of coordinate and, and work with all, get all this kind of stuff put together. So again, I uh, thank you and uh, for coming today. Um, next on our program is um, Pastor James Gomez. We appreciate you coming. You were here at the build. Oh, that's what I forgot to say. We started building this house. We dug May 1st. And... Um, July. 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 I'm sorry, we, what do we have on May 1st? We had groundbreaking, we had groundbreaking and that's what I meant to say. We had groundbreaking, groundbreaking May 1st, and this is our 20th home that we have built in McLeod County. And Pastor Gomez was here for the groundbreaking, and now he's here for it the day. It was colder then. Oh, it was yeah. much colder. <laughs> 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 it was snowy, and we had on gloves. <laughs> yeah, so we're the best place to kind of... Gonna stay in your way here. <laughs> all right, Lord of your chosen people and God of all, there is no God in heaven above or on earth below like you, who keeps your covenant of mercy with your servants who walk before you with all their hearts. You have kept what you promised your servant David. You both speak with your mouth and fulfill with your hand. And now we pray, O Lord, let your let your word be true, that where two or three are gathered, you are present in our midst. Many of us gather here today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And next, Bonnie uh, will be presenting the families. My name is Bonnie Feynman, and I have been one of the co-mentors for Corey and Carmen for the past seven or eight months. And they have uh, three children. Brittany is here today. Where did she go? Okay. <laughs> Brittany, and also Tanner and Cole, who could not be here. This has been an interesting few months. It's been like a roller coaster. Uh, but I really have learned a lot this time because Corey really knows a lot about building. Carmen knows a lot about what it means to need a handicapped home. And it's really been very educational for me. And I hope you guys have had a good experience. And welcome to your new home. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Okay, and then Pastor Gomez, you're up again with the dedication. <laughs> <laughs> the All right. Uh, I'd like to offer a prayer, so if you just join me. O oh Lord, our God, be present in our midst as we join with Corey Clausen, Carmen Cameron, and their family to dedicate this house as their home at 1104 13th Street in Glencoe, Minnesota. Let your blessings be upon them and all who enter here. 
We give special thanks for the partnership between workers and families that Habitat for Humanity desires, for the benefit of the communities they serve. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in their hearts and empower them for righteous living according to your word and promise. And let Habitat for Humanity, collectively and as individuals, serve families with respect and courtesy, showing them the love of the Lord they already know in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we rejoice that God has made it possible for Corey and Carmen to find partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Let us all with them dedicate this house to be a home to the glory of God, who guides and sanctifies us in all that we seek to do. And now in the name of our triune God, we consecrate this place, committing to God's guidance and care all who live here and all who come here as family or friend. With Corey and Carmen and all the workers who have made this possible, we dedicate this labor of love to Almighty God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, Cheryl. Um, yes. And, oh, <laughs> I've also helped to mentor um, Corey and Carmen and learned a lot from Bo Bonnie my first time through here. And um, what, what I have for you is a Bible that's being presented to you by the Crow River Habitat for Humanity that um, you will find a place in your home and help guide you. Thank you. And I'm going to do the scripture reading, which is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Okay, and next is Julie Loftal. Julie is our Executive Director for Crow River Habitat for Humanity. Well, as you can see, the house is not totally complete, but with the holidays and everything, we wanted to have the dedication so that at some point we'll be ready to go and Carmen and Corey can move in right after closing. Uh, We've worked hard to try and get it done. Normally it takes us six or seven months to build and we're at month five, so that explains everything not being quite done. But we've done really well, I think. And I just want to make note, in your programs there's a list of names and it says thank you. And those are individuals, businesses, organizations that have either donated towards the house, helped with a fundraiser, built on the house, um, so we just put them all in there and hopefully we got everybody's name, but as you can see it takes more than just a few people coming to build the house. As Beth said about the um, different committees, there's a lot behind the scenes before we get to this point. So it does take a community to build a home. Thank you. Okay, Randy Bustler has a presentation. On behalf of the building committee, I want to present to you keys to your new home. Thank you. And we also have a uh, toolbox here with tools in it so you can fix all our mistakes that we make. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Thank you. And then Deb Tesmer has some gifts to give as well. <laughs> Okay. Hi. <laughs> um, this year we had uh, something new. We did a fundraiser, as you all know, with Quilt Squares, and the quilt is now complete. And with this fundraiser, we were able to raise over $1,500 for this house and future build. So if you want to open that up, that's the finished product in there. Can we see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we had a lot of people um, do squares, and some just sponsored squares, and had others sold them. And like this house, it's not perfect with everybody doing, it's not one person making the quilt. So, you know, as I was going through pulling off threads, I could see, you know, some squares are just a little smaller, some a little bigger, whatever. 
But I think it turned out beautiful. And everybody yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everyone just touched the floor. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I thought it took work today. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And I've gotten into a habit of just doing a little quote for our families. So um, I just want to say welcome to the black hole. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I don't know what would joy it was just to go a half a mile. And <laughs> <laughs> some ups and downs uh, quite a bit but uh, in general it, it's been a learning experience for the both of us and we both greatly appreciate it. Um, Habitat has become a big part of our lives now so thank you all very much. Okay and then Randy Wilson. Randy is the mayor of Blanco. We thank and welcome you. Uh, thank you. Now, where were you from before? Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Well, we want to welcome you to the community, and I think you've got a lovely house. Um, the one thing I want to say is that how much as a community I appreciate, and I think I speak on behalf of the community, the passion that the people have for Habitat for Humanity. I mean, for instance, this is the only home built in Glenville this year, which is pretty significant. Wow. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, and, but the, just as I said, the passion. First off, the vision of Habitat for Humanity is a wonderful vision and the Christian base it has. But without the passion of the people that are willing to support that vision and do the work, it doesn't happen. So I really applaud everybody here for keeping that vision alive by the passion and the hard work and the dedication. And so we're just really happy that you're part of this and it's really new. So thank you very much and welcome to the community. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers. Um, we couldn't do this without volunteers. We have two part-time office staff, is, and then the rest is all based on everybody helping. Um, and this year there were groups from Glencoe that came that haven't built before, so that was nice. We had some businesses and individuals and um, some just organizations come too, so that was great. And then also thanks to the regulars who come every Tuesday this year. Um, and they've come a few extra days trying to get things done here and I'm sure they'll help here at the end too. Um, without them coming, we wouldn't be able to do this either. And Carmen and Corey, for all your hours you've put into it. I know they were here late last night. 
cleaning things up. So, um, you know, it's, I wish it was done for them and they could move in today, but <laughs> they got a little ways to wait. And like I said before, all the behind the scene, the committees, the board, um, we, we, we couldn't do this. No nail would get pounded, the first nail, without having people to help. And next year, we're going to be building in Hutchinson, and we're actually going to be part of the Habitat 500 bike ride. So we're going to be the bike home for that ride. So there will be bikers staying in Hutchinson, 125 bike riders or so, and on the second day they stay in Hutch, that morning they can either bike 100 miles that day, they can rest, or they can come build on the home we're building. And part of their funds that they raise, they can designate towards that house. So hopefully we'll you know, raise money for that house that way too. And our, actually our family for next year is here, mm -hmm. Becky and her kids. So they will be the recipients of next year's home. But I just want to say thank you for everybody who's had, who's helped, whether it's been donations, providing food, or actually coming to build, or working on a committee or the board. Without you, we couldn't do this. So thank you. All right, and before we do the group reading, I just want to make everybody aware that we do have coffee and cider in the kitchen area, and there's cookies, so feel free once we're finished here. And then to make sure that you've signed the guest book so they have record of everybody, all these people that have, have come to this dedication. So, okay, um, the group reading, if we could get started with that. God bless the corners of this house, and be the elemental blessed, and bless the hearth, and bless the board, and bless each place of rest. And bless the shore that opens wide to stranger as to kin. And bless each crystal window pane that lets the starlight in. And bless the roof tree overhead and every sturdy wall. The peace of man, the peace of God, the peace of love on all. Closing prayer by Pastor. I'll just do it from here if that's all right. Okay. <laughs> Yahweh God. This is none other than a house for the God-fearing. Surely the Lord is in this place. Praise be to you, O Lord, God of our Father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, O Lord, is the goodness and the power, and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Praise be to you, O Lord, God of our Father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Now, God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you.